the next one. Right away, we see this 9. So let's not even think about this one and just go 9 equals 3 squared. So this 2x over square root of 3 squared minus x to the 4th. Well, x to the 4th is not really squared, but we know that x to the 4th happens to be x squared squared. So we can use uh, x squared squared. So let's rewrite this. But notice we have a 2x term in the numerator. What are we going to do about that? Well, uh, we can notice that here x squared term needs to be substituted anyways uh, for this to be used for a inverse trig property. So let's use u as x squared. And notice that the 2 term is 1 higher than this exponential term. So du will equal 2x dx, and dx equals 1 over 2x du. So plugging this back in, 2x over root of 3 squared minus u squared times dx, which is 1 over 2x du. Aha, 2x's cancel out, and we're left with 1 over root 3 squared minus u squared du, uh, which is just the property for sine. So inverse sine. You get inverse sine of u over 3 plus c. And replace the u, inverse sine of x squared over 3. So this is an example of noticing that there are square terms underneath in the denominator inside the root, and noticing that x squared is one exponential term greater than the x, so then we can cancel it out by taking its derivative. So chain rule combined with uh, algebraic manipulation. All right, thanks for watching educator.com. We will see you in the next lesson.